What is up, Green is Not Nick Nation, and welcome back to another video. Today, I am actually not doing this on a Twitch stream, but I am doing it on the He Said Us stream on the He Said Us channel, but it's a secret. So don't come to this channel. Don't come and listen to the song that Danny and I made. Don't come to my streams where I'm trying to beat Hollow Knight. Don't do that because that's messed up and I don't want anyone to come to a place where it's really chill and fun and cool. So stay out of there. There's the chat on the right. They're going crazy. They don't want you over here. Rose says, hi, YouTube. And Bambi's down there on the left. Now, today I want to talk about something that I hate. Another rant video. I know you guys liked my Mandela effect video. So I'm doing a video on why I hate the five love languages twist, twist quiz quest. Let's get started, guys. The five love languages. The first time I learned about this was in church, and I never liked it, and I'm going to explain to you why precisely, okay? It's not because of any... Yeah, you might, you, you, I'll tell you why, okay? Okay? Let's do five love languages for... Um, romance, I guess. Okay. Now, the reason I don't like it, and let's get into the questions. Oh, there's all these different ones. Love language quiz, apology language, anger assessment. Ooh, I might try that after this. Okay. So I am an adult. I'm in a relationship. Now, this is the thing. When it comes to the Myers-Briggs test, when it comes to the, what's the one called where you're like a five wing four, like the Ethereum Bitcoin quiz or something. When it comes to those, you're not really sure what you're going to get when you pick certain questions. But with the love languages quiz, my first big gripe is how obvious it is. And I know there's not really another way for them to do it, but it's like, I receive a loving note text email for no special reason from my loved one. Okay. That's, uh, that's what, what is it? Words of affirmation. And then my partner and I, hug obviously physical touch now the thing is there's different levels to everything there's levels to physical touch from giving someone a high five and holding hands to full-on sex and there's levels to words of affirmation from sending someone a nice text all the way up to giving them a speech about how amazing they are now this is what happens okay people no one really understands why i don't like it yet but i'm gonna explain they don't understand those levels in this quiz so sometimes they'll do something where they're like would you rather get a gift out of nowhere from your partner or hold your partner's hand and like for me i'd consider myself more of a physical touch person yet i I would rather in that very specific scenario receive a gift because hand holding I can do whatever I want I don't get gifts whenever I want and I like gifts but it's not as important to me as physical touch I know some people disagree with me and they're like well some people really value holding hands and they don't really don't like gift giving and I'm like okay that makes sense but but there's still levels to it. Like if you raise that up to like, you know, getting to to cuddle while watching a movie with your partner versus a gift, then maybe I'll pick the physical touch one. But when you're going down to something that's so insignificant as like, you know, putting your arm around your partner versus quality time. And they're like, would you rather put your arm around your partner or spend the whole day at Six Flags with your partner? And I'm like, okay, I've, I'd, I'd obviously rather spend my whole day at Six Flags, but maybe physical touch is bigger to me than quality time. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, Nikayla says in the chat, my favorite is choosing between your partner acknowledging your existence and your partner doing things with you. It's just so straightforward. And sometimes they don't pick similar levels of those things. Rose said, no, you're delusional and you've never said anything that has made sense ever plus ratio plus you fell off. Well, thanks guys for watching. Thank you for coming to another Green is Not Nick video. I appreciate you guys. And I'll hit you back next time. I'm going to quit my job. And you can thank Ro for that. Please unsubscribe from Ro Ramden on YouTube. That was a joke. She's the next up and comer. See, okay, let's check this out. So would I rather receive a loving note, text, or email for no special reason for my loved one or just hug my partner? Okay, I'm gonna receive the text. It's more meaningful to me when I spend alone time with my partner or my partner does something practical to help me out. See, that's a very basic thing. I can get behind that, you know? I can spend alone time with my partner. It's more meaningful to me when my partner gives me a little gift as a token of our love for each other or i get to spend uninterrupted leisure time with my partner okay still pretty basic you know i get it i'm gonna say uninterrupted leisure time that's basically the last one but whatever so this one right here it's more meaningful to me when my partner unexpectedly does something for me like filling my car or doing the laundry see that's super nice takes like 10 15 minutes and it's just a really nice uh really nice 
gift to give to someone. Is that what the fifth one is? What are the five love languages? Quality time, physical touch, words of affirmation, affirmation, gift giving, and there's one that's like very similar to gift giving, but it's not. Acts of service. Yes, that's it. Like acts of service versus physical touch. You might be more of a physical touch person, but just my partner and I touch is such a random thing and such a, I touch my partner all the time. I, I, I touch her back. I hold her hand. When I walk by her, sometimes her shoulders will accidentally touch versus her going out and filling up my car, my gas for me, spending $50 for me. I think I'd rather take the act of service, even if I might be more of a physical touch person. Does this make sense? Because some people I know they don't, they disagree with this, but I just think the quiz is kind of stupid. You know, I think it's just something you need to understand for yourself and use that to communicate with your partner. My, it's more meaningful to me when my partner puts their arm around me when we're in public, pretty basic thing, or they surprise me with a gift. Now, I would say, why are these all physical touch? I keep using that as the um, example, but I would say I'm more of a physical touch person, which I'm not a huge physical touch person, but I'd say I'm more of a physical touch person than a gift person, but I'd still rather be surprised with a gift. It's more meaningful to me when I'm around my partner, even if we're not really doing anything, or I hold my hands with my partner. Now, if you're holding hands with your partner, you're already around your partner, which is besides the point, but like, I guess it's more meaningful to me when I hold hands with my partner because oh, I'm around them and I get to hold hands with them, you know? I just don't get it. Is it more meaningful to me when my partner gives me a gift or I get to hear I love you from my partner? Hmm. Well, I love you is just like happens anytime, you know? But obviously that's more meaningful to me as a concept, you know? Being able to know, know that, you know? It's more meaningful to me when I sit close to my partner or I'm complimented by them for no apparent reason. I guess, I guess when I'm, when I, when I comp, I'm complimented. Now, is it more meaningful to me when I get the chance to just hang out with my partner? See, that's just like a random thing. It's just so generalized. Or I unexpectedly get small gifts from my partner. You know, I guess get the chance to hang out. Just like be with the person, I guess. I, I just find it so like the levels are so different. Like, let me get to one that's like very specific. Like sometimes like this, it's more meaningful to me when I'm able to just be around my partner or I get a back rub or massage from my partner. I mean, that's the same. I get the idea of getting the act of service, but being able to be just around them is the same situation. It's stupid. I don't like it. And I get some people disagree. And while I'm angry, while I'm already pissed off, let's go to the anger assessment quiz. <laughs> Choose the statement that most closely describes you. I have serious arguments with my loved ones, sometimes for no reason. I think most people think I handle my anger well. When I'm angry with someone, I am quickly and respectively able to tell him or her why. I know I get mad pretty often, but I think most people who are close to me and know me think I handle my anger well, because I usually am not very angry in real life. I just, online, I get angry because it's more, it's more entertaining. Choose the statement that most closely describes you. I'm very good at being quick to talk to someone who offends me so we can work out the issue. I fly off the handle quickly. Sometimes it takes me longer than I'd like to get over being angry. Definitely this one. Choose the statement that most closely describes you. I occasionally feel regret about how I express my anger. I simply let bygones be bygones. Or I find it very hard to forgive someone who has done me wrong. I would say I occasionally, one of these two. I'm pretty, I'm pretty bad at holding grudges. Like I don't get outwardly angry very often, but I, I do hold grudges. You know, I'm going to say um, I feel regret sometimes about how I show my anger. Little things don't bother me much. I wish I had some better strategies or ideas for taking care of the anger I feel or I take frustration so badly I can't put it on my mind. I guess the middle one. I've been so angry at times I couldn't even remember some of the things I said or did. That's not true. I consistently find appropriate outlets for my anger. Eh, I'm usually able to figure out what it is that makes me angry. Definitely. I don't generally like being angry with others. I've said malicious things about others to get back at them when I'm angry or I rarely if I ever... If I, I rarely if ever raise my voice in anger. I'm going to say the first one. These are kind of weird. I've had trouble on the job because of my temper. I get, I'm on, I got, I get in trouble on the job all the time. My temper has caused problems with loved ones, but we usually seem to work it all out. Or if I have anything to do with it, I don't let unresolved issues hang in the air with those I care about. Um, Yeah, I would say that one, I guess. I don't tend to get in many arguments. Some people are afraid of my bad temper. I've blurred out things in anger, anger that I knew I needed to apologize for right away. I'm going to say the first one. Though it doesn't always happen, I usually 
actually recognize when I'm angry. I have control over how I express my anger in the mass majority of situations. I often break things when I'm angry. No, I'm not really like that. I'm going to go with I have control. I just want to finish this to see what they tell me. This anger quiz basically exposes whether you're abusive. Yeah, like no one's going to be like, yeah, I break things and I yell at people and people are afraid of me and stuff. Like, I don't think that type of person's taking the anger assessment quiz. After getting angry, I'm still able to act lovingly towards those around me. I sometimes feel like arguments with my loved ones just lead to more arguments and difficulty. My anger tends to come out in sudden strong bursts that often appear uncontrollable to others around me. Honestly, like if this, if these two were true, I wouldn't be answering them on stream because that's like kind of, that's like troublesome. That's something I need to get figured out. That's not me saying that there's a possibility that I do act like that. I really don't. Choose the statement that most closely describes you. I just keep it to myself when I'm angry. I'm quick to forgive others who have offended me. Um, I'm usually able to resolve arguments with other people. I'm going to say the third one. After an argument, I often find myself wishing I had thought of a better way to respond. True. People tend to think I overreact when I'm angry. Maybe. I work hard to have all the facts before acting on my anger. Eh. You can do well or you are doing well, but can improve. Oh, okay. So basically, were all three of them like either a green, a yellow, or a red answer? These quizzes are too basic. These are like BuzzFeed quizzes. You could literally make these into BuzzFeed quizzes. They're too like, this isn't like the freaking Ethereum, um, the Dogecoin quiz. What are like your, what, what are your, what are your dink doink numbers? What is it called? The at my, my ep, my e enneagram yeah what's your apology language these quizzes are so lame like are there okay so are there five different ones your spouse failed to acknowledge your wedding anniversary if you are not married assume you are in this scenario he slash she should say i can't believe i forgot babe you and our marriage are so important to me i'm so sorry well i guess this would be isabel if we were married so I'll do Isabel's voice. Oh, I can't believe I forgot. You and our marriage are so important to me. I'm so sorry. There's no excuse for me forgetting. What was I thinking? What can I do to prove my love for you? You can bet I won't forget next year. I'm going to circle the date on my calendar. I know you're hurt. Can you ever forgive me? So what, what do I think the spouse should say? Not this, not the middle one for sure. Not this one because like, this isn't something I'd care that much about. Maybe a little, maybe I actually, yeah, I'm a little bit, but like, I would just tell them. I would just be like, hey, Okay. It's our anniversary. Like this wouldn't happen in the first place, you know? Um, I think they should say this first one. This is stupid. This is dumb. Let's do a real quiz. What Harry Potter character am I? Pick a movie. The Parent Trap, Silence of the Lambs, Mean Girls. This movie, I've seen these three movies, but I don't remember any of them. Uh, I'm gonna pick The Parent Trap. Which object do you most desire? Would I rather have the Elder Wand or a TV? Would I rather have a Illuminator or a TV? Would I rather have the Cloak of Invisibility or just a TV? Um, I'm going to pick I don't know what any of these mean. The Marauders map, because that's what what's his face it is in the Marauders. Don't don't cheat in the chat. I'm not picking cloak just to get James. What's your favorite food? Shepherd's pie, chicken wings, or shark of the carrot? A clear. I would pick chicken wings out of those three. Steak tartar, salad or cheese? Cheese. I'd still pick chicken wings. Cotton candy, caviar, fish and chips. I'm gonna go with chicken wings. Pick a drink. Um I got water on here. Um, I guess I'll go with tea. Pick a song. Get Lucky, Daft Punk, great song. Flawless, Beyonce. Don't cancel me. I don't I don't know the song. I probably would know it if I heard it. Stairway to Heaven, Led Zeppelin, great song. Mr. Tambourine Man, Bob Dylan. I, I don't really know that one well. Slim Shady, Eminem, whatever. I Will Always Love You, Whitney Houston. Houston. Me and Taylor Swift, Creep, Radiohead, Mirrors. I'm gonna go with Get Lucky. I'm up all night to get lucky. Where would you like to hang out? Dude, let me hang out at the Shrieking Shrack. The freaking shrieking track. That's the worst option? How would you spend your ideal weekend? In bed with a book? No. Getting drunk with my friends? Eh. Hanging out with my family? Eh. Partying at fancy club? Eh. Playing a sport? No. On a date with my partner? Hmm. Watching TV at home? Eh. Hiking? Eh. Alone at a dive bar? What? Uh, I go on a date with my partner. Your ideal partner is someone who values my intelligence, is really protective, inspires you, is family oriented, idolizes you, hates the same things as you, you're comfortable with, gives you space, doesn't exist. I'm gonna say that I'm comfortable with. Pick a potion, liquid luck, love potion, draught of peace, wit sharpening potion. There's something really like dark about the idea of a love potion polyjuice potion strengthening solution i'm gonna go with wit sharpening potion what do you prefer reading would i rather read gawker 
or the New York Post or BuzzFeed. I'm going to go with The Onion, my only source of news. Pick a magical creature. Um, I'm going to go with the Crumplehorn Snork Cack. Pick a TV show. The show out of all of these that I've seen the most of is Dexter, so I'm going to pick that one. Ew! No! No! Please! Please, no! Why are the other ones like, which Harry Potter character are you? And then it comes to 1D and it's like, who's your soulmate? Pick six celebrities you'd want to hang out with and we'll reveal which former One Direction member you are. Pick a female singer. I'm gonna go with T-Swizzle. Pick a male singer. Sam Smith is non-binary. L plus ratio plus you fell off plus this was probably, this was made 2017. So <laughs> it's, not, it's not BuzzFeed's fault, but still. Pick a male singer. Um, I'm gonna go with Bruno Mars. Pick a female actress. I'm going to go with Halle Berry. Pick another female actress. Oh, you know I got to go with Lupita Nyong'o. I didn't even look at the other answers. Pick a male actor. Dev Patel. Dev Patel is one of my male crushes. Pick another male actor. I'm going to pick Ryan Gosling. I really like Ryan Gosling. I'm Harry. What do you know? Eh? What do you know? I like picking celebrities. Pick celebrities. These celebrities share the same first names. Pick your favorites and we'll reveal the flavor of profile of your personality pick a jennifer hudson aniston lopez and lawrence i'm gonna go jennifer hudson pick a tom holland hiddles stin hanks cruz i'm gonna go with hanks pick a chris hemsworth pratt evans pine hemsworth pick a mark Wahlberg? no way mark addy and Harmon. i don't know who they are so i gotta go with mark ruffalo even though pick an adam sandler brody scott or Divine. I'll go with Sandler. I'm going fast. Pick a Kate. Winslet, Hudson, Mara, or Perry. I'm going to go Kate Mara. Pick a Michelle. Williams, Rodriguez, Pfeiffer, and Yo. I don't know who any of these people are. I know Michelle Pfeiffer, kind of. I'm going to pick the last one. I have a savory personality. Right, guys? What's wrong with Wahlberg? He committed like several hate crimes. He's like super racist. He's like a professional racist. He like beat up a Vietnamese guy for no reason. Like a horrible person. I'm a freaking steak. Can we actually guess your eye color based on the celebrities you pick? Um, pick a celeb. Lupita Nyong'o. Every day. Pick another celebrity. Taylor Swift. Pick another. Oh my gosh. How many do I have to pick? I don't really like Oprah. I don't really mind Leo that much. Lopez, not a big fan. Kristen Bell, not a big fan. Britney Spears. I'll go, I'll go with Leo, I guess. Oh, he was the one man in the list. I'm gonna look like an idiot. One more? Kim Kardashian, Brad Pitt, Jennifer Lawrence, Beyonce, Tina Fey, Justin Bieber. I'll go with Beyonce. I have hazel eyes. Let's go. I think I've done the Danny Drew quiz before, and I think I was Danny. I'll do it again. Choose some pants. Jeans or shorts? Jeans. Choose a cap to rock. Blue cap, red cap. Blue. Choose a topic to discuss. Bad movie, someone famous. Bad movie. What would you rather drink? Soda, milkshake, milkshake. I'm drinking one right now. Choose a place you'd rather go for a date. Garden or park. Choose between left or right. Left. Choose from black or white. Black. Would you rather sing or dance? Sing. Last question, choose an emoji. Ocean. Boom. I'm a Drew. You are more Drew. You're extremely hardworking and aren't afraid to try new things, unlike Danny. You're always down to discuss the current state of television and test out some life hacks, unlike Danny. You're dreaming of the day when commentary genre will be all yours. What is up, Greetings on Nick Nation? Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button and watch some more videos of mine. Now, Ethan, make my neck really long. Now, make it really short. Cheers. Bye.